I am going to show you how to make an Eastern North Carolina dipping sauce. This dipping sauce slash barbecue sauce makes a great mop as well, and it is super simple to make. We start with a cup, maybe, there we go. We start with a cup of white vinegar. cup of apple cider vinegar, about three tablespoons of your favorite hot sauce. Now this I'm just going to eye. That looks about great. And if, if I want more, I can add more. Going to do about two to three tablespoons of black pepper. two to three tablespoons of salt. About two tablespoons of crushed red pepper flakes. And about a quarter a cup of brown sugar. Once again, just gonna eyeball this. about perfect. You can use a whisk. I just prefer to use a wooden spoon and just mix all this together. You can sure smell it though. Now the key to this is getting all that brown sugar to kind of melt into our sauce. So I just start going like this, taking a look, seeing if I start seeing any brown sugar, kind of take a look. Looks great. I'm going to take it and put it into just a container, but I am going to leave a little bit back. The reason why I'm going to leave some back is I'm going to use it as our mop for our pork butt. So let's take a look at our pork butt. Our pork butt's been on the smoker for an hour and it's sitting at about 93 degrees. Pour a little over the top. I hear the cops on their way. They must be wanting some pork butt. A little early, guys, a little early. That's about perfect right there. We're gonna put this on the pork butt about once every hour until it hits 165. Once it hits 165, then we wrap it. What do we do with the rest of this? Well, we put it into the refrigerator for about four hours. But if we happen to run out of what we had extra, we can always use this over our pork butt. All right, we will see you at 165. Well, it's been six and a half hours and our pork butt is finally at 165. It's time to take it off and wrap it in tin foil. Gonna start by removing the probe, temperature probe. God, this thing looks good. And it's already starting to fall apart. Mmm, that monster tastes amazing. I think this is probably gonna take a couple of things of tin foil, but maybe not. Hey, I think we're gonna get away with just two. Excellent. Right on. All right, that is sealed up. We're gonna put it back on to the smoker and then we're gonna crank the heat up to about 250. Put our probe back in. Crank it to 250. And now we're just going to wait for about 203 to 205 and then we're going to remove it. We will see you then. We've been into this cook for nine and a half hours. It's hard to believe, right? 
here's the deal. The bigger the pork butt, the longer it's gonna take, but I'm telling you, it's gonna be so worth it. We just hit 203. What we're gonna do is take it out and just put it inside this cooler. We're gonna let it rest for two hours, maybe even a little bit longer. If you don't have a cooler, try your microwave. A microwave works great and I've done it before. So let's take this off. Remove the probe. This thing is hot. In it goes. Cap it just like that. You, you may have a little bit of a mess. I didn't have anything to hold on to the bottom with it. I just used a pair of tongs, but after two hours in this, I'm gonna check it out, see if I can pull that bone out with ease without burning my fingers, and then we're gonna chop it up. This completes our two-part series on how to make a pork butt. Really easy, you just gotta have the time. And this is gonna be perfect for that Labor Day celebration coming up. You're gonna be able to impress your friends with pulled pork or any other time. You don't even need a special occasion. You just make it. The key to it is patience. I'm not kidding you. This is already starting to get a little warm. In our next video, I'm going to show you how to make a pulled pork sandwich that will knock your socks off. And we're gonna use our dipping sauce, AKA barbecue sauce that we made earlier. I'm also gonna show you how you can just kind of dip it in there. And it's perfect that way as well. All right, we will see you on the next video.